Hey guys, it's me again doing another little video on a gun. I've decided to do one gun at a time. Uh, somebody suggested it in the comment section. Instead of doing ten guns at a time like I did before when I started out, I'm going to go through each gun separately. So, might have a few videos coming out. Uh, I figured this give you a better chance to look at the gun more completely in case you're interested in this particular one. And gives me some more videos to make. Anyway, the gun's unloaded. And this is a Ruger Super Red Hawk 44 Magnum. They also make it a 454 Casual. And uh, I've had this gun a little over a year. And I bought these Hope grips for it. And I like the grips. They're kind of big. came with some rubberized type grips on it that felt pretty good, but I wanted something to make it look a little better. I don't know what you guys think. You can let me know. I'll give you a little closer view of them. And uh, Anyway, I bought these grips and I tried to put them on, which should be pretty simple, but the screws that came with them were either too short or too long. So I went back and forth with Hogue, and they were very good, very good service. They kept sending me new screws. I explained to them what gun I had. I even made them a short video and tried to send that to them to show them the gun. But they kept sending me new screws. And anyway, long story short, I finally, to make, them make the screw flush with the grip, I had to take a hacksaw and cut it off. It was too long. And like I said, the other ones were too short. So I don't know what their problem was with that. Maybe we had a miscommunication or something. Anyway, this gun is in 44 Magnum. And it also comes in 454 Casual. And I've had this gun a little over a year. It comes with uh, your scope mounts here, your rings. And I've got those. It comes with that when you buy the gun. But I haven't got a scope for it don't know if I'll ever put a scope on it but this is another gun that would make an excellent gun for silhouette shoot again a lot of people the last gun I showed they said no that's not really a good defense gun no, I, what I'm showing is the guns that I own every gun I own is not for defense most of the guns I own is just for shoot just to take to the range and uh, shoot that's my main object when I buy a gun. Either that or I really like the looks of one. Uh, like I said, I haven't fired this gun yet. You can see it has the white outline, rear sight, and there has the red ramp front sight. And you can take it out and replace it with a different color or whatever you want to do. They offer that in that Ruger. Uh, this gun's pretty heavy. It's full stainless steel. It weighs 53 ounces. The overall length of this gun is about 13 inches. So as you can see, it's it's a big, it's a hog leg. It's a big gun there. And that 53 ounces, you can feel it. I got the holster for it too. Another holster like I have for the other one, but this. This came from Ruger also, and it was about the same price. They they have the uh, this is the Ruger Super Red Hawk. They have the Ruger Red Hawk, which is a little, it's not any lighter. They just uh, made a different model here because at first they had a little problem with the uh, Ruger Red Hawk, but they fixed that. They were actually going to make this and drop the Red Hawk line once they made the Super Red Hawk, but right now they're carrying both of them. And apparently they're selling pretty good. This mainly, I would think most people buy this for a hunting gun. And since I don't hunt, that's not going to be its intended pur purpose. I just want to shoot the gun. And someday I'm going to do it. Something else I wanted to show you that uh, is not in the gun line, but this is a throwing hatchet. And I picked this up many years ago when I was in silhouette shooting they used to have guys that did black powder 
and I was watching them guys shoot uh, shoot the black powder and then they had different competitions and one of them was a throwing ants and I don't know I picked this thing up and I'd take it out once in a while and practice with it and I just want to show you guys something that you know if you're in a place where you can't shoot you know a regular gun or something but you're out where you got a backyard and you want to do something have a little fun this is a lot of fun to do it's like throwing a knife it's a little it takes a little more getting used to but once you get your your uh, target paced out and you practice a few times it gets to be a lot of fun and I don't think they cost more they wouldn't cost more than twenty dollars even now and I got a little holder for it you can put on your belt but like I said that's just something I want to throw out there if anybody's interested in something else to do besides shooting a gun it's a little hobby of mine I don't do it much anymore but I used to do it a lot and uh, besides shooting it's a lot cheaper to throw an axe don't cost you nothing to throw an axe gives you a little exercise anyway guys I just want to show you this gun a friend of mine Chris was mentioning that he had a Red Hawk and I just wanted to show my Ruger Super Red Hawk so there it is hope you liked it like I said I'm going to do a few more videos on guns but I want to do them separate right now I'm doing sort of some of my revolvers so I hope you enjoyed it and liked looking at the gun anyway guys thanks for watching my videos thanks for all the great comments and uh, I'm really enjoying all your videos and just keep them coming and I'll talk to you all later thanks a lot